Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is my first video since the Dodgers won the World Series special. And I wanted to talk about a season that I looked at on my baseball card. It was actually Kevin Kiermaier's season. I think it was his rookie season where he had a 5.5 .5 war. And I want to talk about that. I also want to talk about the new Mets owner, um, middle um, middle of the road free agents are getting really robbed. And yeah, so I'm going to go and get my baseball card where okay, I saw so, it. Okay, um, so I found this card too when I was looking at it. Brett Phillips, yeah, he killed my heart along with Randy Rosarena. But um, I think I'm looking at Kevin Kiermeyer's sophomore season. He had a 5.5 .5 war. Um, I hope you guys can see it. Uh, get into focus with it, camera. Um, so, I know you guys can't see it, but I think it says 5.5 .5 war. Yeah, it says 5.5 .5 war. And I'm just like, how did he get a 5.5 .5 war? Yeah, I know he's great defensively, but his offensive season, he had a better rookie season than his season there. I think he had like 718 OPS with a 263 on, no, not on base percentage, average 420 slugging, um, barely had any walks with only 24, um, 18 stolen bases though, that's pretty good. 40 RBIs, 10, 10 home runs, 12, um, 12 triples, that's a lot, and 25 um, doubles. So I'm going to go and tally up the extra base hits, and I'll tell you that later. Well, yeah, so he had about a third of the time he got an extra base hit. And he had 47 extra base hits, which is pretty decent, considering that his teammate right here was a postseason hero, and he doesn't even have that much in his career. Like, he has 16 extra base hits in his career. Yeah. So, anyways, Kevin Kiermeyer had a 5.5 .5 war season. And I'm going to dive deeper into the stat cast stats. And something else, like um, his um, regular plate stats. Because, honestly, if you're at the plate, you cannot have a negative effect on your team. Like, you can't lose them game. You just, I guess you can if you're like, you don't even have a hit. But, like, you can't really lose the games. You know what I mean? So, I spent about... Five minutes looking at Baseball Savant, and I didn't know if StatCast tracked it in 2015, and they didn't, so I'm probably going to have to look at and graphs. So anyways, I saw him, he had a really good defensive season, but I mean, it doesn't make up for what he had a, um, a 718 OPS. I mean, that's just not going to make the cut. Sorry, I burped there. Um, he didn't, He had a 298 um, on base percentage. Like, um, how are you doing this? Um, how are you getting... I mean, he's not in all-star level. He's not at all-star level. He's not almost at MVP level. He is um, a pretty good player. At most, but like he's not one of those players where you're not where you're like, dude, that guy's gotta be on my team. And what I think is that by the way, Fangraphs had his war at like four point three, so that makes a lot more sense. But still he's not at all star level and I don't and he hasn't gotten to that all star level since then. Even in his great twenty seventeen season and his average 2016 season, he never even got to 
for war. That was like his lone season that he was good. And he wasn't really. Okay, guys, let's talk about um the new Mets owner. So Steve Collins, tell me if I'm not pronouncing his name right. <laughs> Um, he, um, basically prints money. He's the richest owner in MLB right now. Um, but what we've learned with the Dodgers is you don't have to be rich to be a good team. I mean, they, they're pretty rich, but they're not like a top five richest team. And, um, this guy's worth 13 point whatever net worth. But let's talk about the things that they've done. Um, this is, by the way, from the sources. Within hours, he claimed two players off waivers. And this other player, Nick Trapiano, he had a comeback season. Well, he technically didn't have a comeback season. It was just a season, a good season. And uh, it was his best season of his career. So, Mets fans, I'm not going to get you too excited about it, but... I'm get a little bit excited. And then um they also got Jacob Barnes, eh, whatever. Um but they um this is according to a source. They re-signed Marcus Stroman, one of the better starting pitchers, to a one year eighteen point six million dollar deal. Okay, um, I'm really exciting for you, Giraffe Network, and also it's really good for New York because he's helping New Yorkers who have just been, like, in a terrible situation right now because of the coronavirus. So thank you, Steve Cohens, and I hope you keep doing this, and I hope you spend money for the Mets yeah, let's talk about the people who were released at, or non-tendered. Colton Wong was is now a free agent, or probably will be. Charlie Morton so Ozuna will be there too. And if you're a Phillies fan, I think December and Christmas came early for you. Because you're going to want Roberto Ozuna. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe and leave a like. Um, I'm trying to get to 10 subscribers. I think I've already got there. Our next goal is 25. And at 50, I'm going to have a special. It's called the Chapman Challenge. And I'm going to try to catch 100 mile an hour balls from my friend. His name is Blake. BTW, Blake has not been confirmed. I haven't asked him yet, but that's what my plan is.